I teach people how to discover what their passion is. Mm -hmm. uh, because when you discover your passion and work your passion, mm -hmm. it becomes a mission. You wake up every day looking up to it. You wake up every day excited about who mm -hmm. you're transforming into. Mm -hmm. You know, it's amazing how ideas flow into your head, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, not to lose the chain, my chain of thoughts, but what I want to really, really point out here in that process is to make a list mm -hmm. of all the things that you love to do, the mm -hmm. things that gives you joy. Mm -hmm. You know, if you love to, um, you love children, you know, you love to style her, you love to work with your hands, mm -hmm. uh, you love computers, mm -hmm. you love NASCAR, you know, whatever it is you love Braves game there's so many things that you could do mm -hmm. in that light right now when you've made that list you take your time to actually strategize and ask yourself okay which of this uh, do I see a future with mm -hmm. and uh, which what's the reason behind my passion for each one of these and when you streamline it makes it easier for you to pinpoint where to start building your business from mm -hmm. and I say this Whatever plant that you sow on the ground, mm -hmm. as long as you water mm -hmm. the plant, mm -hmm. what happens? It grows. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying that to say when you find that passion, mm -hmm. believe enough in yourself. Do the right stuff. Do your research. Put in your best. You would grow in that business. One question that I uh, want to ask, I know we spoke about this earlier, is um, where you come from, how you speak. Are those things that necessarily will... Uh, not get you to where you want to go? I say if you allow it, you know, because um, I've had to teach one of my girls how to walk, you know, because your walk talks about you when you're not talking, mm. the way you actually, you know, mm -hmm. step. Um, you want to talk to people when you're walking. When you walk into a place, you want to make sure you're bringing in energy, the mm -hmm. right energy into mm -hmm. the place. And I'm saying that to say, it's not about what people call you, but mm -hmm. it's about what you answer, right? So if you need to work on yourself, mm -hmm. does that make sense? Yeah. You know, if you feel you have an, uh, people are not really hearing you, clearly, understanding you, uh -huh. take work on it, mm -hmm. just like I did. You mm -hmm. know, I, you know, they actually told me, a customer called in and told me, working at Verizon Wireless, he said, can I get someone who speaks English? Wow. Okay, well, if you would just hold on one second. Yeah, I thought I was speaking English for a moment, but I had to take time and work on it. Right. You know, but like I said, it's not what people call you, it's what you answer to. Right. So if you need to work on whatever it is, get you the right coaches. Does right. that make sense? Yes. You know, if you need to talk to an image consultant, mm -hmm. do that. Mm -hmm. You know, because at the end of the day, it's all about where you're going. It's mm -hmm. not about right, right, now, right now, but it's about where you're right. going. Right. So you can awesome. take those uh, criticisms and form them into positive absolutely gotta greatness listen to and talk critics. about that later mm -hmm. and encourage people mm -hmm. true true amazing and those challenges as we spoke about earlier will become stepping stones Bam. towards your goal you got it mm. and it becomes a testimony at some right, point right. absolutely amazing so, yeah. and you were talking about um we were talking about where you go to get that uh positive energy and you you went spiritual on oh, me also. See? So let's, let's bring that out. I want to hear you say. You say know, that. I'm glad you reminded me of that. I, um, I told God something. You know, he has been my source. He has been my strength. Uh, growing up, I lost my dad at a very young age. And um, I learned the power of prayer mm. with my mom. And the power of prayer has sustained me even up until today. God makes it easier, I tell people. I remember when I quit my job at Verizon Wireless and I went home, I said, Lord, what have I done? You know, and then I remembered that God needs my helplessness to help me. Mm -hmm. You know, if I'm trying to help, see, I'm not preaching, but I'm saying. I know. <laughs> but I'm saying that in the process of me growing, what I say to people is make sure that when you do everything that you do, mm -hmm. make sure you, that you make God your business partner. You know, the Bible says that God shows mercy to whom he to, uh, to whom he chooses to mm -hmm. show mercy mm -hmm. to. So mm -hmm. that's a powerful Bible verse, you know, that I go by. And I ask him every day to show me mercy mm -hmm. and help me. And when he gives you favor, listen, the Bible says that the gift of a man will make a way for him. And that's exactly what he does. I'm excited about God working in my life. Wonderful. That could be a whole other show. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Nina, for taking us through those business strategies. Thank you. Now, we do have some questions sent to us by email from our viewers. And we wanted to ask you those. Uh, this is one from Gloria S. And she says, I have a business selling cosmetics. How do I expand my market to go beyond my immediate circle of influence? And that's something you've been talking about all day. So. You know, um, definitely it's good, it's good to start your business, Gloria, with family and friends. 
but you do not want to stay right there, okay? Uh, it's good to get referrals. Uh, in growing your business, I always tell people you cannot grow a business just with family and friends. So you want to make sure that you learn how to go outside of your circle. Um, I've a lot of times had to teach women how to actually approach people. You know, one of the things that you want to do, Gloria, is to make sure that you sell yourself first before you even sell your product. Uh, because people want to buy into you first before they buy into the product. So with that said, while you're working with family and friends, I would definitely say you go outside of your circle and go out and meet new people. I've met a lot of wonderful friends, you know, working my business and going outside of the usual. A lot of my good friends, absolutely. We have another one here from Amma K. Um, how do I find motivation from within to lose weight? You know, <laughs> uh, that you said, and I'm trying to think back and uh, see how it all, because it's one thing for me to say one thing, it's another thing for me to say how it happened with me. Um, something had to strike you. You know, you, it could be for your kids. You know, you have to find a why. Mm. And that why has to be strong enough to keep you in the game and to keep you motivated, to keep you from drinking the Coke, you know, <laughs> and to keep you from uh, eating that cake when you see it. You know, um, the brain is so powerful, mm -hmm. you know, that you, we have to learn to talk to the brain, Amma. So what I'm going to say to you, Amma, is to find a why and hold on to that why. That why has to be strong enough. The why could be because of my kids. You know, the why could be because I want to live a healthy life. The why could be, um, I know I can do this. I better get to work doing this. Uh, for my, for, for in my own case, my why was to be successful in business. And I realized in thinking about it, because sometimes I, you know, got on it, got off track, got on it, got off track. And I said to myself, if I'm going to be a successful businesswoman, uh, I'm not going to be going in and going out of track. It's going to take the same determination. So that was my why. And I hope that helps you uh, to make that decision. Thank you. Sure. Sounds good, Nina. Now I have another one from TJ Way. He says, how do I find inspiration to break through boundaries in spite of hardship in an unfamiliar territory? Hmm. How do I read, read that one more time? How, How do, do I find inspiration uh -huh. to break through boundaries mm -hmm. in spite of hardship in unfamiliar territory? You know, right now I'm on TV fast. And uh, one of the reasons why I'm on TV fast is because I don't want to hear it. You know, I don't want to hear that, this, or whatever. I just want to focus on the possibilities that I have coming out in my head and you know that God is laying on my heart. I don't want to focus on them telling me this is not working, that is not working. Mm -hmm. uh, so having said that, I say to people, make sure that that's where circle of influence comes in. Mm -hmm. Who are you talking to? Mm -hmm. You know, some people have PhDs. Mm -hmm. You know, some people have PhD like doctorate degrees. Mm -hmm. Some of the people have did a kind of PhD that I call pull him or pull her down. <laughs> you know, now those people who have such PhDs, you really want to stay away from. Mm -hmm. uh, I say to people, if who you are with is not adding value to your life. Nowadays, absolutely no, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, you don't want to be uh, sensitive about that because at the end of the day, you pay your bills right. and uh, you're going to answer. You're going to stand for yourself and by yourself. When the bill comes, it comes in your name. Right. So if you need to uh, eat with a long spoon or just stay away from a mitt for just some time to establish yourself, it's absolutely okay to do that. I'm saying that to say, while there are barriers, limitation is just a mirage. That's what I call it. And uh, limitation is in the mind a lot of times. And uh, when you allow yourself to say, you know what, this is here, but I'm going to see this as a stepping stone and I'm going to find a way to go around it, then the brain gets to work because we've been made to create. It's amazing what happens when you allow your brain to expand and you find solution when you say to your head, you know what, we got to make this happen. Now, have you ever had a situation where you had to jump from a roof or a flight? Uh, you had to run. You know, something happened and you had to flee. You are not trying to think, uh, uh, am I going to, you know, you just You're have to out. go. That's See? right. And the brain <laughs> had to go at that point in time. That's the mode you want to kick your brain into, your brain into. Thank you, Nina. Thank I you. hope that answered your questions, Gloria S., Amma K., and TJ Way. Thank you for those questions. So, Nina, uh, tell us about the stuff that you're getting into this year. It looks like there's some amazing stuff coming up. It's full. 
that, but I'm excited. Yeah. Um, I have a great team that I'm working with. Uh, the Bloom event last year was so awesome. Uh, it's actually uh, the kickoff. Last year's was the kickoff event. Okay. And uh, the Bloom event is a business seminar that uh, it's been set up to help people uh, position themselves in business. Mm -hmm. You know, last year's focus was to help people find their passion mm -hmm. to go into business. Mm -hmm. And we also had a lot of people who came out to network with other business people. Mm -hmm. So we had uh, existing entrepreneurs and we had budding entrepreneurs. Okay. Uh, this year's is also going to be powerful. Mm -hmm. Guess what? We're going to have Bloom in Nigeria, okay. and we're also going to have Bloom here in the United Wonderful. States. Tentatively, Bloom in Nigeria is going to be July mm -hmm. uh, the 16th, and we're actually planning. Planning is underway for that. Mm -hmm. And we're keeping uh, uh, Bloom the for, uh, in the United States for November. Mm -hmm. you know, it's going to be November 12th. Okay. Uh, so um, we're definitely planning. And stay tuned. You know, the website is thebloomevent.com. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, now we also have our parent company, Nina International, is like the parent uh, conglomerate company. Mm -hmm. And uh, within that, we have a magazine that we're going into by the second quarter of next year. Mm -hmm. And we have the boutique, you know, that's going to be coming out. And then the business consulting, you know, helping people uh, get established with their business. And also speaking, you know, I've had uh, actually have a, a booking to speak to uh, a group of business professionals mm -hmm. uh, in two weeks, and okay, I'm very great, excited great. about that. Uh, and working on a book, you know, and talking about my book, you know, I am on a mission to tell people that um, you should not allow yourself to die with a book inside of you. Just mm. get to work with it, and you know, just start on it. The world is waiting. You know, th there's a message that each and every one of us have been given. Mm -hmm. You know, and a lot of times that's the legacy that we leave behind. Right. I'm actually writing a book on uh, it all started pink, you know, talking about my journey and my lessons that I've learned. And uh, another one that I'm writing uh, is abundance. You know, how I broke the barrier of uh, thinking uh, little. Mm -hmm. And it's all in the mind. It's all about mind shifting, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so those are what we're working on right now. And, okay. you know, the parent website is NinaInternational.com. Okay. okay, great. I know there's a lot of information on there. So yes. um, her website again is Nina International. I'm sorry, Nina Ijeri. Nina Ijeri dot com. <laughs> yes. Well, let me ask. I'm here in Bloom. Bloom. Does Bloom stand for something? Bloom stands for Bloom. You know, with something like blossoms. Blossom. Oh, you okay. know, funny enough, that was the uh, first word that came to my mind. Blossom. You know, and I said, you know, blossom sounds too feminine. You know, I'm not. Well, you know, I want guys to be able to come. You know, business guys. You know, to also be able to come to the workshop. You know, it's amazing how when a woman is leading something, it seems like oh, it's all female stuff. Yeah, so. No, it's not all. We had a couple of guys that came to our event. So, uh, the the mind in bloom is to. Um, just help people become better. Mm -hmm. You know, the mission of Nina International is to help people live their extraordinary life. So mm -hmm. we say, live your extraordinary life now. So you want to start now to Amazing. be the best that you could be. Amazing. Okay. So if they want information on Bloom coming up in November, right. they go to what website? The Bloom Event. Yeah, T H E B L O O M. Event, no S. Okay. Dot com. Is that, do they have to register? Uh, they will have to register. Okay. Yeah, all of that information is actually on the website. Okay. And uh, yes, absolutely. Okay. Well, we've had fun uh, talking with Nina Ijeri today. And I just want to thank you for coming on to the show. I've enjoyed you all. And I know that we're going to take one or two strategies to go to the next level. And we will not be the PhD holders that pull him or pull her down. <laughs> <laughs> but Nina, I do want to thank you so thank much you. for coming on the show. Thank you. So um, as we've heard uh, strategies from Nina this evening, all it takes in my mind is for you to take the first step. If you take the first step, then everything falls in place. As I always say, live your dream, enjoy the moment. Thank you for watching, we'll see you next time. And as I say, be the best that you can be. Live positively, you be positive, positive attracts, you'll be there.